Happy New Year, family. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my Facebook family. I pray that you've enjoyed your Christmas break and the new year is upon us and the Lord is with you. As he is with me, the Lord's hand is upon me on this new year. And I have a word that I need to share. The word comes from the book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6, and it says, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. This word the Lord has put in my heart to share with you, and also to impress upon me to depend on him alone. You know, there are so many things that we do or we have been doing in the year that has passed. And we've been trying to get things done through our own power. And that's worthless. You know, behind the scenes, just because we can't see God doesn't mean he's not there. Behind the scenes, God drives our day to day ways and roads and he opens doors that no man can close and he closes others so that we can go to the next level. You know, I'll talk about the definition of a fool. Who is a fool? A fool is one that does the same thing repeatedly, expecting the same results. So in the year 2017, 2016, 2015, you've been doing the same thing, trying to get ahead in your career, in a marriage, in, in, in a friendship, in your home. You've been trying the same things, going to a counselor and trying to read more books, get more degrees, and it's not been working out. I think and I believe it's time you tried something different. And you know what? You need to try Jesus. This word says, it's not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will enable you to be more than a conqueror. Welcome, Marcus. Happy New Year to you. And the Spirit of God will lead you where you could not have gone on your own. So you've been struggling with your finances. Oh, well, you've been struggling with sin. A habitual sin. God wants you to conquer this sin. And he'll enable you through his spirit. His spirit is power. His spirit is might. So whatever you are trying to do on your own strength is worthless. And you're going to end up in the same spot you were last year if you don't do something different. And in this case, seeking God, seeking the Holy Spirit. You know, Jeremiah 17, 5 says, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm. Hallelujah. I'm saying this. You've been depending on this friend who has connections. You've been depending on your wife or your husband who has money, for example. You've, de you've been depending on a boss and trying to please him so that he can give you a promotion, but others are getting it. I'm telling you, depending on another human being is foolishness. And you are cursed. Like the word said, you're cast for depending on another human being. What you need to do is cry out to God. Go on your knees, cry, to him, cry out to him and humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. And in his own time, he shall lift you up. So, brothers and sisters, even as you enter into this new year, whatever it is that has been uh, affecting your life, what has been causing you sleepless nights is very easy for God. Lord God Almighty created the universe with just a word. What is your problem? Is it your mortgage? Is it your marriage? Is it habitual sin? Give it to God. Tell him I can't. I'm worthless. I'm nothing without you. And I need the Holy Spirit to enable me to conquer whatever it is that you want me to conquer. And you know what? In his time, things are going to turn around and you're going to give praise to the Lord. So the message that the Lord wants me to give to you is in this year 2018, he wants you to depend on him. Know that your might, your intellect is very limited and your ways, your finances, very, very limited. But where there is the spirit of God, there's freedom to do anything and everything according to the Father's will. All you need to do is to call upon him and everything will be all right. So as you continue throughout this year, I'd like to pray with you and I'd like you to contact us because like I said, the hand of the Lord is upon me. At the beginning of this year and this will continue forever and i want to shower blessings upon you in the mighty name of jesus so i'll say a quick prayer father god whoever is watching whoever whoever will watch later bless them and their family remember 
that they should know that it's not by strength, not by might, but by your spirit, because you're the Lord of hosts. I pray this, believing and trusting in the magnificent name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, I'd like to wish you a happy new year. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Marcus. And may the Lord be with you and remember to solely depend on him. Not your mother, not your father, not your friends, not influential people, not your intellect, and not anything else. Only Jesus, and he'll take you places you'd never have gone. Until another time, this is Pastor Josh. Peace be with you.